Hey friends Maddie here from Maddie Recapped, and, today we're going through a 1991 comedy, romance movie called Career, Opportunities The opening scene shows, Jim Dodge a young man going through a, newspaper while sitting down behind his, desk at the pet store where he works as, a store attendant he sees a news item in, the paper about, about the death of two store, keepers who were terminated by thieves, he faces the dogs in front of him and, starts talking to them like they, understand him while he is distracted in his so-called discussion with the dogs his boss comes in without him noticing jim's boss fires him afterward because of his negligence at work he tries to tell his boss that he will never find someone like him but his boss doesn't seem to care up next jim can be seen talking to a group of kids he tells them about how he is a very rich person who has established himself in the animal healthcare business he explains that he has numerous cars and workers but everything he is telling them is just a lie shortly afterward jim can be seen in a local restaurant talking to the waitress about the different kinds of food he has eaten he then goes to a gas station where he begs the owner he would like to work for him it is then revealed that the station owner has already fired him on numerous occasions jim begs him that he is ready to work for free but the station owner still refuses his offer and encourages jim to leave town in search of greener pastures as jim is about to stand up to leave a young lady josie mcclellan arrives in her flashy car jim starts acting like a gentleman upon seeing josie josie likes the weird behavior jim is exhibiting and she giggles from inside her car as he does so jim's father bud dodge comes from behind and confronts jim about his job status jim starts lying that his boss didn't fire but he resigned instead jim's father drags him to his truck afterward and takes him home later that day jim and his family are having dinner jim's sister says josie has moved out of town and gone to new york but jim argues with her that he met josie earlier that day at the gas station he adds that they had a cup of coffee together and his father looks at him in surprise moments later jim's father tells the family that jim has lost his job and adds that he will no longer pay rent the following morning jim's father has a hard time getting jim to wake up moments later jim's father drives him to a mall named target he informs jim that if he can't get a job at the mall he will be put on a bus to st louis to work for his uncle who is a gardener jim asks if his father wants him out of his life but his father responds by telling him that all he wants for jim is to move out of his house and not his life shortly afterward jim can be seen having an interview with the mall's director the mall director offers jim 45000 per annum and other benefits upon hearing this jim quickly accepts the offer as they are about to close the deal the director receives a call informing him that the person intended for the job has missed his plane and it immediately occurs to the director that he is offering the job to an entirely different person accepting his mistake the dire director offers jim four dollars per hour to work as a night cleanup boy and jim accepts the offer the next scene shows josie's father roger having a meeting with some gentlemen from the governor's office during the meeting josie comes into the house and her father calls her over to greet the gentleman josie goes over to one of them and pecks him on the lips stunning his father after their meeting and the departure of the gentleman roger goes to josie's room and warns her not to try what she did earlier again meanwhile two crooks are seen stealing a couple's car the next day jim hires a limousine to take him to work and his father and mother look unsurprised on his way to work jim sees the group of kids he usually lies to he brings out his head from the limousine and lies to them that he is going to the airport to board an expensive plane going to paris because he has a meeting with the vice president of bulgaria upon getting to his place of work jim starts acting like the boss to the other employees who don't know who he is yet yet meanwhile josie is also in the mall busy shoplifting later on after the mall has closed jim's boss the head custodian gives him the details of everything he is supposed to do before the next morning like cleaning his coffee maker and making sure every corner of the mall is clean upon giving out the instructions jim's boss locks jim inside the mall to be alone over the night jim protests that nobody told him he will be alone overnight but his boss doesn't care and drives away instead before leaving jim's boss also sets the light to go off leaving only the aisle lights on because he is trying to save money 
Soon afterward Jim gets down to cleaning, and he has some difficulties in operating some of the equipment. Moments later Jim takes a break from cleaning and starts eating some of the snacks in the store. He proceeds to call his parents and talks about his plans for Christmas but they soon hang up because it is late. Afterward Jim starts having fun with everything he could lay his hands on in the mall. As he glides around the mall on a pair of skating shoes he suddenly runs into Josie and this causes him to fall into some of the goods. Meanwhile Roger has gone to the police station to report his missing daughter and he teams up with the police to search for Josie. Back in the store Josie tells Jim that she fell asleep in the latest room. Earlier on, Josie reveals that she was contemplating whether to get arrested for shoplifting or not but she later changed her mind out of fear. She then informs Jim that her father is a not very pleasant man and he causes her pain. Moments later Jim makes use of the microwave in the mall to prepare a meal for him and Josie he, he then tells Josie that his father is a cement contractor and he is the one that poured the cement for Josie's family house pool. As Jim keeps on talking Josie asks him if he usually talks excessively like he is doing and Jim says not really Josie then points out that Jim should go into sales because that would be good for him. But Jim says he has done so and didn't work out later on Jim is talking about how he likes to take expensive smoke after a meal and Josie lets it out that he is the one everybody calls the town leer. Jim seems upset about the fact that everybody in the town is calling him a liar but he soon shakes it off and continues talking. Josie reminds him that he still has a lot of cleaning to do and Jim replies that there's time. Josie reveals that she planned to steal some goods so she can get arrested and be taken away from her not so pleasant father. Josie points out that Jim is happy with the life he is living but Jim argues differently. During the process Jim gets offended by how Josie is pointing out his cons and leaves her to continue his cleaning. As Jim cleans Josie puts on the music and Jim starts rocking to the music. Upon seeing that Jim is happily dancing to the music Josie turns it off. Afterward Josie makes use of the PA system to communicate with Jim. She tells him that since there is nobody to impress or lie to in the mall he should tell her the truth about what he wants for his future and if he really likes living in his parents' house. Jim responds that he is not lying in. Just then Josie comes to meet him. The two then start having a discussion. Jim agrees that he is a liar and the duo starts pointing out the cons in their life. Jim says Josie is very wealthy but she wants to steal just to get freedom from her father while Josie says Jim is wasting the freedom he has. Jim asks Josie why he couldn't just sit his father down and talk to him or probably leave him Josie then says that it's the same reason Jim doesn't want to leave his parents house Josie states it is the fear of being alone Josie tells Jim that they should leave town together and move to Los Angeles Jim refuses at first but when he hears everything Josie's father does to her he agrees Josie then reveals that she has 52,000 in her purse which they can use to get away and start a new life they decide to go away the following morning moments later Jim asks Josie to dance with her and she obliges as they dance the duo kisses briefly soon. Afterward Officer Don and Josie's father arrive at the mall. Officer Don asks Jim if he has seen Josie but he says no. Meanwhile the two crooks from earlier have arrived around the mall and are planning to rob the store. Moments later while Josie and Jim are having fun they are confronted by the two crooks who aims at them but they accidentally knock the crooks out. Upon seeing that the thieves are unconscious Josie and Jim quickly run to hide shortly afterward the thieves start looking for Josie and Jim and soon find them. The thieves tell Josie and Jim to lay down the thieves start interrogating Josie and Jim about who they are shortly afterward Jim tricks the thieves into surrendering after that the thieves inform Jim that the guns aren't loaded. Jim then proposes a truce and gives the thieves their guns but as he does so the thieves reveal to Jim that they lied to him and in fact these are loaded. Up next the thieves start packing everything they want to steal meanwhile. Josie is saying sweet things to one of the thieves after they are done packing their loot. Josie convinces the thieves to take her along while the criminals are loading stolen merchandise into their car. Josie jumps into the front seat and drives away leaving the two men stranded in the parking lot. Back in the mall Jim loads up a shotgun 
found in the head custodian's locker and tricks the two crooks by luring them to the back of the store and capturing them. In the morning Officer Don arrives and stumbles upon the two crooks having been tied up by Jim. Jim and Josie run away and are then seen lounging next to a pool in Hollywood. Thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel.